Hey, welcome to Barbershop Clips. This is a channel where you get to see really cool moments from the barbershop. I know the episodes are really long, but you can come here and enjoy really cool moments in short time as well. I hope you enjoy. Or what? Uh, how how did you do it? Like how? I I think look. Uh, first of all, it's it was it is Vinay's idea. Uh, my my business partner, who's the founder and CEO of of Akasa, it was Vinay's idea to 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 start an airline. You know, uh, Vinay uh, uh, worked for a bit with. Uh, I've had thirty years, almost close to thirty years, in the U.S. in the airline business. Uh, Vinay, Vinay, uh, in Delta, in American, at Sabre. He's an operator. Just an incredibly fantastic sort of. Originally a Bombay guy. Okay. Uh, he's a Bombay kid. Uh, went f- went to do high school and college uh, in in uh, the U.K. and then. Um, and then the U.S., and then spent 30 years or close to 30 years in the airline business. He came back and started running Jet for a while and then Go Air for a while. I don't think he liked it at all. <laughs> I remember the first time I met Vinay through our common friend Rahul Bose. As the actor. Was, yeah, the actor. Uh, uh, and, uh, and it was very clear in the first few minutes that Vinay was special. You know, he's just a super guy, just incredible human being. And I remember the first time I'm meeting him, and I and I was still the Indigo CEO at that time, and I was, and we were meeting for breakfast, and I said, "Why, why are you doing this?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, at that time he had a whole plan about turning the airline around, etc. And this go ahead. So, uh, this is at Jet. Jet, huh? And then never got the right support from the people, so therefore you know couldn't execute to his plan. We, otherwise, you know we could have probably had two more airlines in the country. So in the middle of the pandemic, there was lockdown. We can't step out into our elevator lobby, right? Uh, Vinay gives a call and says, you know, uh, I, and I think we should start it. I've been thinking about this idea since last <laughs> evening. So I'm calling you. I think we should start an airline. I said, I, I think it's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and and the and the reason was very he's very mathematical. Okay. He's extremely mathematical, uh, and uh, so he's very logic driven. I am. Uh, I hope I have some logic, <laughs> but, but I'm also I, I get excited about new things. Uh, so, but but it was very clear. Again, two airlines of uh, one airline has failed. Two airlines are about to fail. Like you know, so there is constrained capacity. You know, supply constrained market. India is, you know, booming. Boom, yeah. And and fine. I mean, at that time in the early days of the lockdown, we did not think it's going to last out till one about two year. Yeah. Um. But uh, but I think. Uh, but then what happened was my father was not well at that time, and and I soon lost my father. I don't know. And I kind of ghosted Vinay, right? Uh, because I was just so caught up with yeah. so many other things going on. Um. And then Vinik diligently worked away at this idea. And through some folks reached out to Rakesh, or uh, I'm uh, sorry, um, Junior Bala, my apologies, RJ. And I, go, I knew RJ from the Indigo IPO days. Nah. And, but it lost touch. I mean, lost touch as in, I mean, either, I mean, after I left Indigo, etc. You uh, also he'd become a little more, yeah, like he's unwell also. Correct, correct, correct. And, you know, uh, so I got a call from, I got a message and a call from one of his close colleagues, Ushma, uh, who's, of course, still, I mean, you know, they're all, they're a very tight group who've worked together for years. Um, and that's the other thing about, you know, any of these successes, whether you're an investment fund or a company, it's often like just, all group of people. Core group who, who, you know, not out of because just out of loyalty, but people who kind of stick together and, and put in the years. Yeah. Anyway. So she said, you know, there's something that we want to talk to you about. So do you mind if we get onto a Zoom call? I said, yeah, sure. So the screen is blank. Uh, I've got my camera on, but I'm at home and we're talking and it's late evening. And they begin to talk about this airline thing. So about 10 minutes, so I gave my views, this, that, the other. Then I said, 10 minutes into the conversation, I said, hey, by the way, like, is this 
the the Vinay's idea, the one that you're talking about, she said, yeah. I said, okay, well, in the interest of full disclosure, you know, Vinay had reached out to me, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I've ghosted them, and like, you know, so they're like, oh, that's great, but and then suddenly this, you know, gruff, gruffy, garble, loud voice of RJ comes on, and I'm like. Oh my God! I didn't know you were on the call. And he says, ah, and "Like," and he said, "What do you think?" I said, "That's. I think it's just a great idea." And then I again began to explain. He said, "Yeah, both the, I I don't understand the business. That to you and Vinay will have to kind of figure it out. But do you think it's a good idea?" Kind of I said, "I that's it, did." So then uh, he said, "Okay, see, let." I said, "Please first talk to Vinay." They said, "He said, of course. I said, we'll talk to Vinay and then come back to you." So give us about a week or so, and um, we'll we'll come come back. I said sure, abs- absolutely. Within ten minutes, he called back. He said I spoke to Vinay. He's super excited. He's like I've been trying to get this guy, like, you know, and so on and so forth. So, really, I think what Vinay saw was like 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 we all did. But I think because maybe, and this is a question that you. Because maybe at that time he had already exited out of the the go air. You know, when you suddenly have nothing to lose and you see this opportunity, um, and he took that step, right? Um, and I think I'm privileged to you know become a part of part of that. But once that, then I'm in my comfort zone, right? Yeah. I then I'm in super in my comfort zone. You know, thinking this thing, and we have a, you know, we we really get along with each other. And RJ was just a phenomenal investor. 